to another episode of Wagstaff Explains. Today's topic, proportional versus non-proportional. Do the following tables represent a proportional relationship? So it looks like we need to find the slope and the y-intercept. So let's find the change in y and the change in x. So we'll start with the change in x. So going from 2 to 4, the change is plus 2. From 4 to 6, plus 2. From 6 to 8, plus 2. Now for y, going from 2.5 to 5 is plus 2.5. From 5 to 7.5 is plus 2.5. And from 7.5 to 10 is plus 2.5. So the change in y is plus 2.5. So since the change in y, x, and the change in y were the same, were consistent, there is a consistent slope. So now for the y-intercept. So we need to know when x is 0, what is y? So we will need to work backwards to find that. So it appears that if we work backwards and subtract two here, we should get to zero. So if we work backwards and subtract two, so two minus two gives us zero. So now X is zero, but what will Y be? So we have to follow the same pattern and this time subtract 2.5. And when we do so, 2.5 minus 2.5 is 0. So the slope is 0, 0. So in this case, this table represents a proportional relationship. So yes. Okay, now for the next table. So the change in x is plus 3. So negative 9 to negative 6 is plus 3. Negative 6 to negative 3 is plus 3. That is consistent. And for the y, from negative 6 to negative 5 is plus 1. From negative 5 to negative 4 is also plus 1. And from negative 4 to negative 3, is also plus 1. So our change in y is plus 1. Our change in x is plus 3. So we do have a consistent slope. The change in y and the change in x were consistent. So now let's find the y-intercept. So it looks like we need to continue with the table so if we add 3 to negative 3, we would get 0. So we need to do the same pattern on the y side. So we need to add 1, and then we will get negative 2. So our y-intercept is 0, negative 2. So this does not represent a proportional relationship because the y-intercept is not 0, 0. So no. Okay, next question. Do the following graphs represent a proportional relationship? So in a proportional relationship, you need a constant slope, which means a straight line, and the line also needs to go through the origin. So looking at this first graph, we do have a straight line, and it does go through the origin, which is here. So this would be a yes. And on this second graph, we do have a straight line, so there is a constant slope. But the origin is here at 0, 0, and the line does not go through the origin. So this would be a no. Do the following equations represent a proportional relationship? And for that to happen, only the coefficient is being multiplied by x. So here, that's hard to tell. So we do need to simplify our equations. 
So this equation, if we take x and divide it by 2, that is the same as saying 1 half times x. And then if we take 16 and divide that by 2, we get 8. And so that represents or is closely matched to the non-proportional formula equation because we are adding a constant and we're only supposed to have the coefficient. So in this case, this is not a proportional relationship. Okay, in this equation, we can combine like terms. So we have 2x here and we have 1x here. And so if we combine those together, 2x's plus 1x would give us 3x. And so here we can see that only the coefficient is being multiplied by x. So it does match the y equals kx equation, which is proportional. So this would be yes. Thank you for watching another episode of WAG Staff Explains. Now you know how to determine whether a relationship is proportional or non-proportional.